Hey guys, how you doing? Carlos here with Mobile Food Booth. I'm just out here relaxing. I figured, uh, I told you guys I was going to take you on my journey of um, this event. So, this is part of it. I'm out here relaxing, trying to get my mind right. Out here sitting by the water. You know, watching people fish. You see people over there fishing. See the beautiful scenery in back of me. And um, this helps relax me. This relaxes me. Like, I like to sit by the water and just take in that fresh air, and this helps relax, relax me. And um, I'm about to get in the car and ride over to the storage and try to figure out how to get this stuff packed in the trailer because half of it's in my truck. So if you guys want to follow me on my little journey over here to the storage, you'll see this crap packed in the back of my car. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get everything jumping. All right, we're heading over to the storage. Try to figure out how to get this stuff packed in this trailer because I still have to get um, lemons and ice. And um, if I don't figure out a more convenient way of getting this stuff in this trailer, I'm gonna have to ask my brother to carry my lemons, and I don't wanna do that. Because me and him, we got this little thing where we go back and forth, you know, just a friendly, brotherly thing. And uh, I don't wanna have to swallow my pride and ask him, can he carry some of my product to this event? Because this event is actually the biggest event that, um, it's kind of bumpy, you gotta excuse me. The biggest event that me or any, my brothers or um, any of my other family members have ever done. And actually, um, my mom is gonna come and she's gonna do some water ice. Just a little small little setup. So we just kind of making it out of like a family thing, family event, and we can all make money at the same time. That's what I like about the food concessions business is you actually, you actually can enjoy spending time with your loved ones and make money at the same time. And there's not too many uh, businesses where you can do that, you know what I mean? So uh, that's one of the things that I enjoy most about the business. But um, what I'm really most excited about is just getting back at it. Cause I've been out of the business for a couple years and uh, it's been a little more frustrating than I thought it would be trying to get back in the business. I spent more money than I thought I would need to. Getting commissaries, uh, this has been so frustrating. It's like people don't want to help you the way they used to. It's got more rules and stipulations. And I'm like, man, it's only been a couple of years. Like a lot has happened in just, in just two years. You know what I mean? So. Hot in here. I don't want to turn my AC on. This gas duster uh, that I got just eat uh, eat the gas a lot. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, you gotta excuse me if the camera's shaking a little bit. You know, I'm on rocky roads. I'm out here in the country. You know, so the bros out here they don't really care about people that live in the country. They don't care about um, repairing the roads in the country. All they care about is the roads that are in the uh, city, you know, where everybody's working at. So, I'm here, I'm pulling up to the storage. And I like when I go out here when nobody's out here. Like, sometimes when you go to the storage, people are out here, they're all in your business asking questions, being nosy. You know what I mean? You hear those propane tanks banging back there. You gotta take care of that situation. Man, this guy, I don't see what he's doing. Uh, I don't even think I can get, he's doing some type of construction here at the storage. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get in here. Ah, uh, man, what in the world is he doing? Anyway, um, let's see if he has another. Is he starting a new entrance down here or what? This is ridiculous. You can at least let somebody know. You're starting a new 
the entrance. There, uh, I think somebody ran through the gate at the storage facility. Cause this weekend when I was here, he was repairing the fence, and now he he has another entrance down here, close to some of these houses. I'm thinking somebody must have wanted their stuff up out of the storage, and they said, "Hey, uh, you can either either let me get my stuff out, or I'm gonna run through this fence." I wouldn't recommend it because the little police, uh, town police here, they store some of their little uh, equipment here too, so you know, they're gonna be on top of things. Anyway, I'm, I'm pulling in here. Evidently, that's what they do. They have a new uh, way to get in the stores. So, we can already get this trailer open and see what we can do over here. As you can see, I'm packed to the hilt. You know, it's everything I got in the trailer. Pack. I'm gonna have to pull off a miracle. I'm gonna have to try to pull off a miracle I'm trying to get the rest of the stuff in here. As you can see, look at the back of the truck. Back of the truck's packed. So I can't put the seats down because my workers are gonna be riding with me. So I kind of got a little lazy at the end of this packing the other day. And I know it was a more efficient way to do this. So now I'm gonna have to pay the price for being lazy the other day and take some of this stuff out of here and rearrange it. But I believe I can get it done. You know, see this is the important reason why you have to come out and have your stuff done early. Don't wait till the day before the event. Try to pack stuff running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Come Friday, I'm gonna be kicked back, drinking a tall glass of lemonade, relaxing because my trailer's gonna be packed. I'm gonna have everything that I need. And the only thing I'm gonna have to do is hook my truck up to this trailer, pull out, go to the event, set up, and start making money. Cause that's what it's all about, making money. You know the weird thing about being out here in the country? You hear all kinds of animals and deers and <laughs> squirrels and stuff. <laughs> It'd be startling me, man. Like, I just hear, like, little creeping things in the woods. Got the little wooded area back here. And I'm hearing all kinds of creepy things. And, you know, I'm in the scary movies. So, once I start hearing that, ch -ch 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 -ch, I'm not looking back. I'm not looking around, doing no 360. What's that? As soon as I hear, ch -ch 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 -ch, I'm gone. I'm gone. And I used to play football. I was a running back, so I might be 43, but I guarantee you, if I hear ch -ch 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 -ch, ain't, it's not catching me. It's not catching me. You know what I mean? And I'm not running towards the woods. I'm running towards where people are. Traffic. You know what I mean? Anyway, okay, we're getting in here. We're getting in here. Oh, man, I really got lazy the other day. I really did. I should have focused more. But the good thing is I got all the big stuff in here. That's the good thing about it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try to knock this out. And um, I'll keep y'all posted.